So systems thinking has made its way into design in the last two decade, decades. Not that it has not been in design earlier. In fact, many prominent systems people come from the design field. We can mention Christopher Alexander, Buckminster Fuller, Horst Rittel, and Randolph Glanville, who had his last public performance at RSD3, and probably many more. Others have been deeply inspired by design, like Russ Akoff, who was, a trained, was trained as an architect, and Bella Banathi, who was deeply inspired by design and design research. Notable are also early initiatives to articulate the role of systems thinking in design. For example, Harold Nelson, Charles L. Owen from IIT in Chicago, Luigi Bistagnino from Polito in Italy, and our first presenters today, John and Jenny Dersentes. However, systems thinking did not make it into the mainstream of design. In 2009, Fred Colopy wrote an article in Fast Company with the title, Lessons Learned, Why the Failure of Systems Thinking Should Inform the Future of Design Thinking. He describes how he, as a designer, experienced systems approaches as very prescriptive and restrained coming at odds with the way designers think and work. He was also a speaker at RSD3, I think. Systems thinking was too cumbersome and disruptive to make its way into the design process in a productive way. In 1993, I was attending a conference deep in the forests in Finland with the title, The Challenge of Complexity. It was organized by Taik, now Aalto University. There I met a few presenters who were oriented towards systems thinking, for example, Wolfgang Jonas. So there were traces of systems thinkers all the way up. But only later I developed the consciousness for systems thinking in design. This happened after I started a master's course called The Challenge of Complexity in 2006. Intuitively, I instructed the students to make big extensive maps of their ideas and interventions, and the fields they were meant to become parts of and designed for. One of those students is actually here today, Maria. Eventually, we put more emphasis of the interrelations between the things they were illustrating and those maps. The maps were soon given the name gigamaps. Complex systems can't be interpreted with simplifications. An obvious idea to use designly skills and visual thinking to explore complex systems. Only then I realized that I was knee deep in systems thinking and started to discover the rich universe of theories that make out the body of the systems thinking um, universe. But coming to this from design with a practical approach like gigamapping influenced greatly my perspective. I realized we were bringing something new and valuable to the systems field. Being neutral to the internal trench wars in the systems field helped me to discover the wide spectrum of approaches from systems dynamics to soft systems methodologies and to critical systems thinking, applying different models according to their fit to the challenges at hand. From that moment, I called what we were doing for systems-oriented design. I connected to a handful of people on the PhD in design email list and met with Harold Nelson and Peter Jones. I was able to invite them and a few others to a symposium at AHO in 2012, which I called Relating Systems Thinking and Design. After that symposium, we gathered in the loft of the Savoy Hotel and founded an informal network later called the Systemic Design Research Network. It was clear from the beginning that our intentions, our intention was to relate systems thinking and design in a new way that would influence both ways, not just importing systems thinking into design as an add-on. Both design and systems practice had to change. I raised the discussion on what we should call this new initiative, which in the beginning adopted the name systems-oriented design. This seemed uncomfortable for me in two ways. Firstly, I felt a flare of colo colonialization, colonizing the emerging field with my models and thoughts. On the other hand, I felt a loss of control of how systems-oriented design would develop. 
So I asked for a new name that would be more generic and embracing, and Sod could become a dialect in a rich garden of different approaches. Harold Nelson suggested to call it systemic design, a term he had used in his book, The Design Way, first edition in 2002. I think that the term, this term has been used before, uh, for example, by the people in at Polito. From then we started to think in an open way about what systemic design could and should be, a pluralistic field embracing methodological pluralism <clears throat> as inspired by critical systems thinking, truly a river of conversations. <clears throat> The interesting thing is that it has started a transformation of both design and system thinking. The first relating system thinking and design symposium, RSD1, was so successful that we decided to try to repeat it, repeat it annually. The SDRN, Systemic Design Research Network, did transform into a registered association in 2018, the Systemic Design Association, the SDA. This year we have RSD13 back in Oslo. So taking a step back and looking from a distance, what's the first, why did this all start and develop? What were the drivers behind this? Let me try to recap, recap the basic thoughts and factors that in the end are the motivation for this work. So greatly fueled by enthusiasm and volunteer efforts. We think that designers need to improve in many ways to meet the big challenges of our times. Many different skills and knowledges are needed, but most of all, to put these skills, tools, mindsets, and knowledges into contexts and let them play out in relation to each other and in connection to the realities we plan for. We need to understand our worlds better to avoid costly and damaging unintended consequences. And we need to look forward. We work within multiple perspectives, cultures, and beliefs, and we work in a mode of methodological pluralism. We work in tensions and conflicts and breakdown of dialogues. We try to cope with the white waters as well as the calmly flowing and the still eddies. All this is achieved, supported and underpinned, underpinned through systems thinking, organically merged with design. System thinking is the science of interconnectedness. It's a wonderful world of models and theories, but without design, it has a limited capacity to put forward questions of what ought to be how we could organize life in a better and less harmful way. Design without systems thinking has a limited capacity to understand the interconnectedness of all things and the consequences of our actions. We risk to trigger unintended harmful events and of which there are many examples. However, we are facing even bigger challenges, those of the moving targets. Why will plan the systems change the move targets move. This leads to the shaking of the very idea of planning and executing and messes up how we work. The role of the designer as planner is shaken. Donella Midos put words on this when she creates a seducing image or mirage of a new mentality or approach, dancing with systems. While we design, we change the system, the systems changes, we are changed, and we change in the continuous flow of interactions. The change already starts in the first meeting with the client, and it is all based on different forms of dialogues. This year, RSD is focusing on this aspect. We are inspired by Patricia Shaw when we call it rivers of conversation. Conversations, organizations are driven by streams of interactions and conversations more than rigid planning. Systemic design has grown as a pluralistic discipline since 2012. These different dialects, such as systems-oriented design, the systemic design approach at Polito, addressing regional scales, the Indian metaphoric approach at NID, the Canadian hub and the development of systemic tool design toolbox with Peter and Crystal, and the version of the environment around Tobias Lütte at ETH. Some of these differences and similarities we will discuss later today. As mentioned, the promotion of systemic design is organized in the Systemic Design Association, a non-for-profit democratic membership organization registered in Norway. The SDA has an international board with a chair from the Czech Republic. 
Maria, she's here, and a very active group of board members and secretary from Canada, Cheryl, she's also here. It publishes a journal of systemic design called Contexts. The SDA is responsible of organizing the RSD conferences together with the host organizations. The credo of the SDA, to my mind, can be summed like this, is to be inclusive, learning, welcoming, sharing, and to avoid academic elbows or destructive competition. We also put a lot of emphasis on practice and regard this as crucial for systemic design to have an effect and influence. Since 2012, systemic design has grown as a multidiscipline and built an archive of papers and cases. The RSD Symposium has developed into something that goes far beyond the conventional academic conference and that has taken on the flair of a festival. It is at least as rich and complex as a festival and this mirrors the flourishing and diversity of this network. We start today with RSDX. RSDX is a community-led program that seamlessly integrates practice and scholarship within the field of systemic design. The 77 presenters have come together as co-creators in this extraordinary initiative, embodying a design ethos that res resonates with the challenges of our time. Their generosity of spirit has enabled us to create an inspiring series of online sessions. The RSDX is followed by an online conference for peer-reviewed papers in five parallel tracks, the on-site workshop series at Oslo Met, the main symposium at AHO, and the retreat in the four forest of Norimarka. Um, Jonathan will go shortly through this. So there are many thanks I should put forward here, but I think the time is short. I just want to mention Cheryl, who has been amazing in putting all this online stuff together and my co-chairs Jonathan and Andreas but uh, the rest of the thanks will have to wait until our closing session I'm sorry but we 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 know you are there and we don't remember don't forget you with this I declare RSD 13 for opened